So we got in a 71 Jimmy today, uh, which is kind of cool. We haven't worked on one of these specifically before. It needs a lot of love, but I think overall it's kind of a little cool, but don't tell my dad. I was raised Mopar or no car, so I can appreciate it, just don't tell my dad. Justin's coming in today and we're gonna go through his GMC Jimmy. What a shop. Yeah, Phantom Works is uh, quite the building. It is. All right, so yeah. your GMC Jimmy, what, what's the story of this truck? Uh, when did you get it? Why'd you get it? What do you wanna do with it? Well, we got the truck about six years ago. Like I told you before, it's really a family tr truck. You know, we got it for the three pass, the three kids in the back and mm -hmm. just, you know, really wanted something that the whole family could ride to football games in and have a good time on. Justin's dream is his wife in here up front. The kids are bouncing around in the back as they're going off-roading, going camping, going picnicking. And I want that dream for him to come true. I've also wanted to do an EMP vehicle and I've done a little bit of research, Dan. Do you think that we can make this EMP vehicle? He wants it to be EMP shielded to protect he and his family so that they can drive anywhere they need to go, even when the chips are down. You know, as, as, as a matter of fact, EMP falls right in line with what we're doing. To be EMP shielded means that an electromagnetic pulse is not capable of shutting down the vehicle's electrical system. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You just can't do that in a new vehicle, so. You can't, you can't even think about it in a new vehicle. You've got the right thing to do it. In order to do that, we have to do some special Faraday cages. We have to shield the wires. And what that means is no matter what happens in this crazy world, the GMC Jimmy will actually get him there. It has no microchips in it, no integrated circuits, no computerized fuel injection. You got a carburetor, an alternator, and a distributor. So, so basically it sounds like the job on this vehicle is let's address all the maintenance and then we're gonna get you ready in case things go really bad so that you are one of the few people driving down the road. Let's go write this up. Let's go do it. Yeah. Getting the 71 Jimmy ready for EMP is fortunately easy. GM did most of the work when they produced it in 1971 by not adding any computers. Our work is really limited to all those things that are highly susceptible to a really high voltage EMP pulse. Hey Chris. Hey bud. I, uh, I got some stuff, parts that Audrey said, you said were everything we needed. I got instructions, ignition module, just voltage regulator. Yeah, yeah, because alternator doesn't have anything that controls the voltage inside of it. In a worst case scenario, could you take the truck that went down because of a high energy surge and put it back on the road with these tools, that silicone, these instructions, and yes. those two things? That's yes. everything? Yep. All right. Yep. If this thing bangs around for a couple years, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want it eating anything. I, I kind of want a double Faraday. I want everything which is now insulated from the bag, but I want this Faraday bag inside another Faraday container. So now I got to go mount this on the Jimmy. Oh yeah. So how are we going to test it? <laughs> Just tell me to shut up. I'm hoping we don't ever have to test it. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Let's stick it in the microwave. Perfect. In this car, effectively, there's two fairly tough weak points. In a modern car, there are dozens and dozens of incredibly weak points. So we've effectively got two complete Faraday systems here with all the components we need to rebuild this truck should anything happen. So, so we're, this is kind of over engineering it, but what I want is I want this thing. And if you actually hold the handle, you'll hear that you can't, you know, it's, it's not moving around in there. The screwdriver is moving in the bottom, but everything that's important, you could kick this around all you want. It won't get hurt. So I'm going to seal this box up with metal tape. You already put the instructions and everything. In Everything's there, right? in. <laughs> yes. It's ready to go. It's a little late to ask the question, but still. Yep. He. Him. Well, don't give it away. We don't give it away. I, I want people. So uh, now they're gonna steal it. 
Open in emergency? Emergency use only, Hannah. He should have wrote like tampons on it. People would have left it alone. Oh my, you, you were, there's something wrong with you. Just saying. Use in emergency. You think that as they see this and it's pointing straight at him? It's gonna get stolen, yes. It's not gonna get stolen. Watch this. Watch how perfectly it fits here. It goes right here and that. Look at that. And if the end of the world hits, this truck's gonna make it. So, I like it. It better, it put a lot of time into this truck. It's a nice truck though.